Hello, this is Cynthia Barros, and I am going to talk about Operation Pulitzer in healthcare field. For healthcare, the healthcare field has been receiving a lot of attention lately, mainly because of three reasons. First of all, the baby boomers are achieving requi uh, the retirement. Um, the second of all, uh, technology and science have been advancing a lot and that's allowing people to live longer. And third of all, third of all the people in the, uh, in the world, the population in the world has been growing and growing. Why is it important to uh, study operations and research in the healthcare field? First of all, people want, always want to have good service. So that with that, it will increase service quality, it would increase staff satisfaction, it will decrease queuing time, queuing time related to patients waiting to see the doctor, patients waiting to see, uh, waiting to get diagnosed or exam. Um, it would increase resources control. Uh, the hospital would know uh, where uh, the equipment is at, where it's allocated and would also increase equipment utilization and mainly it would decrease the cost. So here are what we're targeting in this uh, project. Uh, first of all, it's pac patient scheduling, staff scheduling, and bed management. Uh, based on literature review, we, uh, we could see that Patient scheduling is it's directly related to staff scheduling. And um, there's three things that should be taken into consideration. First of all, is the selection of patients. How, uh, the second is how patients are assigned to doctors and nurses and how patients are scheduled, scheduled throughout the day. Based on these factors, the goal is to minimize patient queuing times and maximize the number of patients and also to find the balance of workload to the hospital staff. There's some challenges related to that. Uh, for example, the urgency of uh, patients' uh, diseases, uh, also the cancellations of appointments, and also doctor's availability. Therefore, um, one of the solutions in order to overcome that is to create parallel activities which is, um, for example, whenever a, um, a patient go and do a diagnose, we can go and do another test or do, do another exam and see an other doctors while he's with the hospital. With that, it would reduce the, short, uh, the cycle time and uh, reduce the waiting time. One of the tools that's being used a lot in this uh, in the patient scheduling is the simulation that would predict uh, the uh, how many patients and uh, how uh, how the staff is scheduled related to that the second point is uh, staff scheduling and um, has a is a combination of the nurses doctor skill the hospital requirements and the nurses and doctors preference. So that's why it's so hard because it needs to be a combination of three of them. And uh, nowadays, based on the literature reviews, we could see that linear programming and integer programming methods have been used in order to find the, the optimal, in order to optimize that, to find the minimal transportation cost and maximize the staff and, and both staff and patient satisfaction. Um, operations research also can help to find the optimal staff number requirement required to meet the capacity and demand while allowing the flexibility to adjust the staff roster and patient variation. The third topic covered in this uh, project is the um, bad management, which is one of the main issues in resource forecasts. And 
the way to do that they have been doing that in the healthcare field is using the cure, the curing theory. The curing theory can analyze the congestion in the system as well the uh, proposed utilization of beds. It can determine how many patients a hospital can take it or reject. As a conclusion to this project, it can see, we can um, see that the healthcare has very complex problems and it cannot be easily solved by heuristic methods or just traditional models. Operation research offers several methodologies that can facilitate the op optimization and, um, and help with the schedule, scheduling of patients, scheduling of staffs, and uh, how to allocate and optimize the resources such as the bad, bad manage, management. Thank you.